Thank you. That was very... That was very... Thank you. Huh? The emblem drawn on that cart. He can't be. Is that the crest of the legendary merchant Masood? Come to think of it, he was supposed to hail from around these parts. Masu, the merchant who walked the entirety of both the eastern and western continents. Every merchant worth their salt would give a left kidney to read the chronicles he penned of his travels. The Mercantile Manuscript. To think I'd have the chance to meet him in a place like this. I need to take a gander at that mercantile manuscript. Legendary merchant Masood, ain't you? Oh, there's something I'm dying to ask you. It's polite to introduce oneself before shouting questions at strangers, you know. Oh, <laughs> pardon me. Particio, at your service. I'm a merchant. So? What does Particio the merchant want with a retired old man like me? Oh, I've heard stories about you ever since I was a chickadee. Uh, like that time you struck a deal with that horde of bandits, or when you saved that little kingdom in the west from famine. Oh yeah, and when you scuffled with the royal family? <laughs> that story stuck in my old noggin. I asked you what you wanted with me. A merchant should know how to get to the point. Oh, yeah, right again. Uh, sorry, got carried away. I'll cut to the chase. Let me read that chronicle you penned. The Mercantile Manuscript. No. Now leave. Uh-huh. Don't make me repeat myself. I have no obligation nor reason to let a nobody like you anywhere near it. Nobody? Now listen here, that's hurtful. 
Besides, even a nobody's got a nobody's pride. And if I may toot my own horn, I've got some merchant chops to my name. Oh, you do, do you? Then I'll give you a test. Prove your worth to me, oh nobody of supposed talent. This is what I'm talking about. You got yourself a deal, fella. Good. As a merchant, there is one treasure I value above all else. Bring it to me. Uh-huh. If you profess to be a merchant, the answer should be obvious. Hmm. <laughs> of course, if you think this test unfair, you can just give... Interesting. I always stock whatever it is my customer's looking for. That's my merchant's creed. I promise, I'll figure out what your treasure is, fella, and bring it right here to you. I'd very much like to see you try. The legendary Masood's treasure, huh? I'll need to start by looking for clues. Maybe someone around town knows a thing or two about it. Time to gather information. This is Sai. According to my treatment log, I've been here before. Perhaps something in this place will help unlock the door to my memories. Help! Someone! Anyone! My friend is wounded! Someone help him! What's going on? Damn. It'll be someone else's turn next. It's been tit for tat. May I ask what's going on? Fighting, lady. With the soldiers of the town over yonder. 
folk living in this neighborhood are outsiders. Immigrants. We don't have much to live off of. Anyone who wanted to make a good life for themselves used to head to the next town for work. All was fine, till a few years ago. Folks there suddenly decided we were undesirables. That's the cause of the bloodshed? That's the short of it, yeah. So my turn. Who are you, lady? You don't look like one of us. Just a simple traveling apothecary. I seek only to give aid. If you have wounded, I will treat them. Where can I find that woman who was shouting earlier? The hospital. It's in a hovel in the northwest of town. Thank you. I'll head there immediately. How long are you slouches planning on lazing around? You know the rules. You don't work, you don't eat. I... Uh... Master Edmund, please. I've only just staunched this man's wounds. Spare me the sob story, bone mender. A man's gotta be strong if he wants to make it in this world. Gotta be a provider, you get me? You don't work, you don't eat. No excuses. Excuse me, but if I may intrude... Haven't seen you around here before. You got a problem with me? Speak up! Injuries need time to heal. He cannot work in his condition. He requires rest now. Exertion will cause his wounds to reopen, putting his very life at risk. Boss, I... I can't. <sighs> Worthless. This is a waste of my time. Listen up, all of you. You got backbone, you come with me. Out of my way. Don't bother me unless you can hold a sword. <laughs> the pain! The pain! These people are suffering. I must help them. I should speak to that apothecary. Thank you for before, Miss... Casti. I'm a traveling apothecary. May I offer my assistance? It would be most welcome. There's more hurts here than I can tend alone. done what we can. It's still too early to rest on our laurels. We'll need to burn the candle at both ends tonight. I... Hold on. I was too busy to give you a good look earlier, but we've met before, haven't we? 
have to forgive me if I don't recall. I've lost my memories. I see. I've been retracing my past, trying to discover who I am. In that case, it's my turn to help you. Ask me anything. I'll be glad to answer. to all their hearts alone. Huh. I heard this town had troubles, but yeesh. Then our journey here was not wasted. These wounds fester faster than I anticipated. The desert climb, I wager. Just like the chief said, Good thing we came prepared. Excuse me, who are you people? Heirs Apothecaries, we're here to help. Heirs Apothecaries? Chief! I've done what I could. The rest is up to you, Chief Casty. Was I the leader of Heirs Apothecaries? It was four years ago, if I recall. Not long after the fighting began. You arrived at the head of your apothecaries to offer aid to our wounded. <sighs> the name Heirs Apothecaries was anathema in Canelbrine. And yet, here, they're seen as saviors. What? Mender! There are more wounded on the front line! Take me to them. I'll see to their hurts. Wait, there's no need to risk your life for us. You're here to reclaim your lost memory, right? I am, but healing those in need is my mission and my creed. Casty. Thank you. I'll leave the front lines to you and see to things here. I heard they were injured. Where are they? Ha! <laughs> None here. Not on our side, anyway. Was there some mistake? A messenger came speaking of wounded. 
Yeah, they're wounded. Enemies. I plan to really show them what for today, so we set up a little ambush. When <laughs> what do you know? Huge patch of quicksand appears right as they were marching over. <laughs> the fools all got swallowed up by the sands. Gulp. <laughs> Serves them right. <laughs> I could get used to this. Victory without even drawing my sword. <laughs> Whoa there, leaving so soon. Of course. Those people are in need of my aid, and so to their aid I go. Think I'll just stand here and let you help our enemies? A 
allow me. Yeehaw! Catapult, go, go, go! I ain't one for holding back. No. I call God a liar, according to plan. Here I come. For the pride of Ku. Hello? Is anyone there? Please shout if you can hear me. Over there. Found you. You move fast, girl. Shh. Quiet. That way. Hey. Please help me. I, I, I can't move. Don't move. I'm coming. It'll be all right. Hurry! Before it gets back! Stop thrashing! Strange. Everyone here seems terrified. Were they attacked? This isn't good. At this rate, they'll freeze. You there! Yes, you! Bring me kindling. Anything that can make a fire. Water, too, while you're at it. Don't spout nonsense. I'm not helping them. They're enemies. I ain't giving them a drop of... Stop blustering and fetch. Now. Huh? Damn your eyes. Fine. Kindling and water, right? Thank you. These people owe their lives to you. I was like them once. I was a soldier for the other side, living fat off my daily wages. One day a bunch of outsiders tried to move into our kingdom. Lots of kids. Well, we went in and sent them packing. King's orders. Didn't think much of it at first. Just followed orders. But eventually I started thinking. Is what I got worth bullying innocence? Do I want to protect my coin that bad? Long story short, I got real pissed off about it all. So I switched sides. Hmm. You know what, Bone Mender? You're all right. It takes a lot of guts to stick your neck into someone else's fight just to help folk. Watching you work, well, makes me feel like an idiot for fighting in the first place. I'm a simple healer, nothing more. <clears throat> I'm... I'm alive? That you are. The others, too. My name's Griff. I command these soldiers. We were marching to battle when a terrible monster attacked. The ground turned to quicksand, and we were pulled under. A monster? That sounds like... a sand lion. A sand lion? What's that? A beast that lives in the sands round here. Usually pretty docile. All the fighting must have set the thing off. Once one of them goes berserk, nothing to do but run for the hills until it calms. But... 
Many of my soldiers are still back at our encampment. They're in... Hold on now. You're too injured. I'll go. As will I. Commander Griff, you're still too hurt to walk. Rest. Recover your strength. Thank you. Come on, Bone Mender. Time to go to someone else's aid. Much to learn. Damn. Were we too late? There's no one here. I can only pray they weren't caught when the ground gave way. Help me. Hold on! I'm coming! Pinch of this. Or a true threat. 
Bring it on. Impressive work, Partition. I fight for my friends. I still have much to learn. Work, Particio. the pride of Koo. I knew it would work. 
Burn bright, those sacred flames. You never fail to impress me. You did well, Casting. My place is Thinking time. I call down the light. Study harder. Are you all right? Somehow. This guy is too. You're barely scratched. That's a relief. Yeah. The Sand Lion's back there. We need to pull these people out quickly. At this rate, they'll be buried alive. Are you well enough to help, Master Edmund? I'd like you to pull these people out and get them to safety. Hold on. What are you planning, Bone Mender? I'm going to have a word with that Sand Lion. Do you have a death wish? Let me call for backup first. There's no time. If it thrashes about again, every last person here will call these sands their grave. But you'll... Here's a fun fact, Master Edmund. Apothecaries are trained in combat medicine. I can handle myself. Don't worry about me. You've got some guts, Bone Mender. Leave these people to me. Just... don't die. Thank you. do this, but I can't let you run amok any longer. Time for you to take a nap. I'll send you back to your nest. My turn. Allow me. No. I call down the light. Ready? <laughs> Dodge this. Well now. My 
turn. Stop right there. Here I come. I fight for my friend. What is this? Here come. Use this. I owe you. Here I come. Allow me. Ready? What a pity. Prepare yourself. I fight for my friends. Now it's over. My turn. Now's our chance. Feel my wrath. I call down the light. What to do? Over. You're open. As a snake. Heavy footed, aren't you? What to do? I'm a step ahead. I need a plan. I call down the light. I'm weak. I've gained valuable insight. Hope it's learned its lesson. The shaking stopped, and the sands seem to have stabilized. We should be able to focus on rescuing those still trapped. Which only leaves the little problem of war to deal with.
Edmund. I never thought I'd see the day you'd save my life. I had thought of outsiders only as threats. Locusts that devoured our food. Contributing nothing. But it appears that I was badly mistaken. <laughs> I swear to you that when I return, I'll make a proposal to the king himself. I'll beg him to let us lay down our arms and welcome your people as our own. Seems I owe you an apology. And my thanks. <sighs> if it wasn't for a certain nosy do-gooder's nonsense, I would have never opened my eyes. It's better to join hands as friends than raise arms as foes. I couldn't have said it better myself. I owe my life to your mercy and your valor. I won't soon forget it. You are one of Heir's apothecaries? Yes. I heard they were a gang of scoundrels who murdered the sick under their care. It seems those rumors were greatly exaggerated. You saved the lives of me and my soldiers. On behalf of all of us here, I thank you. I only did what was right. I hear that you've misplaced your memories. Yes, but... A rumor reached my ears not long ago that may interest you. What sort of rumor? It concerned heirs apothecaries. There's apothecaries. In other words, the association I was a part of. If I speak with him, it may jog loose some memories. village. Wait. Rain. Purple rain? you're doing? Of course, Chief. I'm following our precepts to their logical end. Extending a helping hand to all in need. Isn't that right? <laughs> this rain brings salvation. From the look on your face, it seems you've remembered something. If you'll excuse me, I'll take my leave now. Goodbye, Apothecary. <sighs> what was that horrendous rain? And who was that robed figure? I... can't remember. Something terrible. 
terrible happened in that place. I'm sure of it. Some awful tragedy. And I need to remember. <laughs>